Hi, I'm going to show you for the Programming Formalisms course how to do the exercise at Apply Branches where we will be creating, switching and deleting a Git branch. So this only has one exercise and I'll just go through it. So the idea is to, well, do what we just did. So let's take a look. So there's this figure here. Before start branching version another commit. So we need to make a branch apparently called Sven and we're gonna delete that branch. Okay, so, so this picture already tells us what to do. We need to make this come true. We have our main branch. We create a new one called Sven apparently or something similar like that and then we're gonna delete it. Alright, we can do that. So let's take a look at the first thing. For our shared GitHub repos to create a branch with your first name that is unique, e.g. Sven, 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 three and four, you may branch off from main or develop if it exists. You may use the web interface or use the command line. So I'll be creating a branch using the web interface face because it's easier. And I'm going to branch off from main because I know we don't have a develop branch yet. So where is our shared GitHub repository? So I know where it is. I go to this menu. I just open this in a different tab. And then I'm going to zoom out. Click on miscellaneous. That's where our project is. Here at the left hand side we have projects. And here we have the summer 2024 GitHub project. And uh, well, some people have already been active there. Let's take a look at the branches. So at the moment we only have a main branch. So in the exercise we had to create a branch that's unique. Well, I'm going to use reshell. I'm the only reshell in the group. So I'm going to create it uh, by just clicking here on uh, create branch reshell from main. Bam. So now I already see that here I'm on the reshell branch and here we have the main branch. So there are now two branches and I can switch between them. Uh, so here we have the main branch and here we have the reshell branch. Good, well done. Let's see what's next. On your local computer, switch to that branch, change the repo, like change the content of the repository and push your changes online. Verify the changes are online. All right. So I'm going to use a regular terminal for this. So I'm going to go in the course repository. It's called Pro Programming Formalisms Project Summer 2024. And I need to switch to that branch. Well, first you need to do a git pull. That never hurts. Now I have the branch uh, uh, at my local computer because I've just updated everything with git pool and I do git checkout reshell. So now I'm on branch reshell. Let's do git status to check that. Yeah, you are on branch reshell. That's great. So now I'm going to make a change and I go do that in the learners folder in my own folder called reshell and I'm going to call it uh, reshell is on reshell. It's a text file I created. A touch means create a file. Reshell on reshell. There. I'm gonna see if this already counts. Yes, this counts as something that can be committed. So I need to change the content of the repository and push a change online. Sure, let's do that. I have changed the content of the repository by adding this file. I'm going to push these changes online, and for that I need to do a git add. Git commit. Reshell is on the Reshell branch. And I do a git push. There. I did it. On your local computer, switch to the main branch, okay? Git checkout. No, 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 no. I need to verify your changes are online. So I'm going to go to Programming Formalisms, the course project. Here we see I'm on the Reshell branch. You don't see my new commit yet because I need to refresh. And here we see Reshell's on the Reshell branch. Let's just double check if the file is there. It's not in this folder, it's in the learners folder. There, learners. There we have the Reshell folder. And here we have the file we've just created. Alright, well done. 
next on your local computer switch to the main branch okay let's do that uh, so I am now on Richel get checkout main to go back to the main branch um, I'm gonna take a look at all the files so now we also see that on my computer all, like the file Richel's on Richel is gone it's not there anymore although we know it's there on the Richel branch now we're gonna delete our branch and then update your code. Uh, sure. So we're gonna delete the Richel branch that we know is there. Yeah. To do that, I go to uh, is it code. Here we can click on branches. Here we see that there's a main branch and a Richel branch. I'm going to delete it here. Bam, it's deleted now. Mm -hmm. And now I am going to update my code on my local computer, git pool. There, everything is already up to date. Let's take a look at git status. Yeah, I'm done. So now if I refresh, I just click the refresh, you see there's no Richel branch anymore. It's not there at all. So I just done the exercise. Yep, so that was it. I wish you a very good day. Bye.